My, how times are a-changing. On Tuesday, Australia's government reauthorized the general prescription of ivermectin, lifting pandemic-era restrictions that had confined the use of the Nobel Prize-winning drug only to dermatologists and only for a few other highly specific needs. So, starting June 1st, prescribing of oral ivermectin for off-label will no longer be limited to specialists. Of course, this comes with the usual disclaimer that the Therapeutic Goods Administration doesn't endorse prescribing of ivermectin for the treatment or prevention of COVID-19. Well, why would they? The report attached to the policy change referenced the Pharmacy Guild of Australia, which had written the TGA encouraging it to keep the ivermectin restrictions in place over concerns that freely available ivermectin might cause people to, come on, you know it, you guessed it, that's right, hesitate to take the vaccines. Wonder why people would hesitate? Hmm, don't know. Now, why would Australia's Pharmacy Guild care so much about vaccine hesitancy? So much that they officially wrote into the government to stop people from using ivermectin. I mean, I'm sure it's purely noble motives. You know, saving humanity or something, doing better for your fellow men. I mean, it would be terribly cynical of us to think that it could possibly have anything to do with how much profit is produced by each product in comparison. I mean, it's not like ivermectin sales will put a new Lambo in the driveway, unlike you know what. Of course, it would be unfair of me to presume the pharmacy guilt has a selfish bone in their collective bodies. But at this point in the pandemic, really? With the non-COVID access deaths at historical levels down under, I mean, you would think that they would be spending their time advocating the government to uncover what's behind all these excess deaths, right? That's the real mystery. In spite of the concerns by the pharmacy guild, the regulators finally, following science, instead of moving at the speed of science, reauthorized ivermectin anyways, which only leaves the impression that the pharmacy guild's concerns might have had more to do with the well-being of their bank accounts rather than the well-being of their fellow Australians. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, sorry, I put a link in the notes section to the uh, media release, so check it out. Uh, once again, thanks for watching the video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. You can follow me on my Rumble on my Locals account as well. Uh, follow me on those, subscribe on those, because YouTube occasionally, well, they used to ban anything to do with ivermectin. I'm sure this one's okay because, hey, Australia says it is. Anyway, I'll see you next time.